Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the ice maker assembly in the Samsung refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair. should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a Phillips and a flat blade screwdrivers. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new ice maker assembly. The ice maker assembly is designed to produce the ice cubes on demand. If your ice maker stops making ice, it's time to check it and replace it if needed. To get to the part, we need to open the freezer door. To remove the ice bucket and auger assembly, we need to Pull these two locking tabs on the sides, and then we can simply slide it out. Next step would be taking the ice maker cover off. Squeeze the sides in slightly and uh, twist it up. The next step would be taking out this panel. Uh, it held in place by four screws and a couple of uh, tabs on the sides. So we'll start with taking out the four Phillips screws. Using the flat blade screwdriver, we're going to press the two locking tabs, one on each side, to free the panel. The tab is right in there. Pull out the panel and the right side will get free by itself. So, as you can see, the plugs are at the back. So we're going to, using the flat blade screwdriver, we're going to press down the locking tab and pull the plug out. So then, same thing would be done on the left side plug, only from the opposite side. I'm going to press the tab, it's identical tab, and, uh, and now we can take the panel to the workable surface. All right, let's uh, place the panel. And uh, at this point, we're going to remove those three Phillips screws to free the ice maker from the panel. We can remove the ice maker now and uh, pull the plug through the cutout here. And then we're going to take the uh, base plate off. I got two Phillips screws. I'm going to remove the screws and remove the plate. This is the old ice maker assembly next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. We're going to start the installation of the new ice maker assembly with installing the base plate we removed from the old one. I'm going to put two Phillips screws. And next we're going to install it under the panel. Okay, let's bring the panel in. And uh, we're going to insert the plug into the opening. Pull the harness through. And then we're going to install the ice maker onto the panel. Match the holes. And then we're going to secure it with the three Phillips screws. It's ready to be installed onto the door. Now we can bring the panel with all the gadgets mounted on it. And uh, we're going to start with plugging in those two harness disconnect plugs. First we're going to install the, the right side of the panel. 
in and uh, slide the top under the water inlet tube. So the water inlet tube should go over the inlet cup of the ice maker. Lift it up. And then press this side in. Secure the panel to the door with the four Phillips screws. Now we can install the ice maker cover. These two cutouts on uh, each side goes over the hooks and the locking pins here. So I'm gonna slide it on the hooks and push it down. Ice bucket and auger assembly goes next. I'm gonna put them under those tabs here. Push in, and then I'm gonna push in the bottom to lock. And now we can close the door. Plug the fridge back in and make sure it's cooling. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram. 